Dang, Zombie Grub, we got a lot of love for Mouse today. But we need that quantic support. Before we do anything, first off, you guys can see in the top right, there's the scoreboard. But also, let me screen read you this. Here's our vote system we got going on right now. It's a pretty big favor <laughs> in the favor of Mouse Sports. 100% of you rooting for them to win today. So, I guess Ow. after seeing Hyun fall, I can't blame you. But we'll see what happens in the lower left corner of the map for the Acer Team Story Cup, though. Representing Quantic Gaming, one of their newest members, but he was. I believe, oh shoot, I'm going to mix this up pretty badly. He was either the ex-CJ Antis trainee or the Kespa player. I always mix him and Venus with their backstories up, but either way, he's a really good Korean. His name is Gamja, but it means potato. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Alright, so in the upper right, as the Red Zerg, it's going to be Mao's Vortex, and he is going for Tenpool. Yeah, this is, uh, I always, okay, this is what I hate, not being a professional Zerg player, I can't exactly describe to you guys the perfect nuances to a 10 pool versus like an 11 pool or 13 pool, but I really feel it's like every other number is like a good pool to do, like you go for a 10 pool, but not an 11 pool and not a 9 pool, you go for a 15 pool, but not so much a 16 or a 14 pool, a 10 pool in this instance, I think it's going to be used as an economic aggression opening, what I mean by that is I don't think we're going to see Vortex pull uh, drones, we're not going to see a spine crawler, but we are going to see speed. So I take this all back because this means banelings. It means a lot of aggression. If he's going to yeah. transfer out of this, it's going to be after doing a bunch of damage. Now, luckily, Gamja, knowing Whirlwind, knowing that it looks appealing as a hatch first map, but it's really not, is going to go for the pool first, and that's going to save him a lot of headaches. Yeah, this is... <sighs> Vortex actually didn't set a drone scout out. Now, of course, you can't really afford to do that when you're off of 10 workers like this, but typically, you know, on, on anywhere spawn map like this, Vortex is going to have to luck out. He's going to see his opponent is not in the lower right, so he's going to have to flip a coin and either go bottom left or top left. Lings are just going to head to the center of the field for now, of course, get the watchtower until he confirms at least one of the bases out. But you're okay, right, like... one over. It's not even about wanting to do damage, it's about necessary damage. If he doesn't kill workers, He's behind already from cutting them. If he can't kill enough workers to at least even the playing field, he'll be in for some trouble. But he has to do a little more than that even because his opponent has a natural base incoming as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Gamja did see the Lings with that Overlord. Unfortunately, he didn't see it as fast as possible. The other Overlord going to the right first, but now is that enough time? He has a spine crawler on the way. He needs to defend it. Already has some Lings out. Again, he went for that pool first, so he doesn't, you know, he's not waiting on the pool to finish or anything like that. The Queen's oh. also going to pop out very, very soon. He needs to be so careful about how he controls this. And Vortex also, those two Banelings are like it, man. That's his lifeline. That's what he has to do. He's actually mm -hmm. morphing more and usually only C2, but oh my god, there's actually going to be five on the field. I guess the idea is that he'll probably lose one or two due to the spine and the queen. So he's going to overcompensate by making more. Natural base was already cancelled, so Vortex just has to kill workers here, guys. But, oh, oh! If that evolution jammer had gone down, this could have been a completely different game, but coming into Massacre of the Drones. Already, Vortex has caused more than enough damage. Six workers remain. Five workers remain. No natural base, spine crawler dedicated to this, and two queens out. Vortex has caused a lot of damage with this opening. Eleven workers killed in total. He's back in the game all of a sudden. He can make his own queen. He can actually macro out of the situation. Yeah, he can. Exactly. Uh, Gamja is going to try and come back. Of course, he had to cancel that hatch because he needed the minerals to get the spine crawlers and yep. the additional, additional queens. It would have been lovely if he didn't have to. But luckily. He canceled the second spine crawler just as it was about to finish because having those two spine crawlers would be useless and he really needed that drone and 100 minerals. Can we, uh, so luckily he did save that. Can we talk for a second about how big of a deal that evolution chamber almost was? If that had gone down, the spine crawler was already up. It might have picked off one or two of the banelings before it even got a chance because they have to go around. Or they might have accidentally, like, you know, got clicked into the evolution chamber. I mean, if Gamja had gotten that down, it really could have uh, lessened the worker blow, I suppose you could call it. But Vortex, man, just a little bit too quick. Meanwhile, three lanes of Gamja are going to try and get a Vortex's base. He'll pick off eight. Nope, not even pick oh, off a drone. God. One health. One HP hype. <laughs> this drone will go back to work. Unlucky. Unlucky game for Gamja so far. And he did, I believe he scouted the natural. Well, he's going to scout with an overload anyways. Know that Vortex isn't actually, you know, getting he actually, a hatchery down. He actually hasn't done either. Oh, overlord is not quite in vision. <laughs> Well, he probably figures it anyways, just because how much Vortex is droning, but... Yeah, educated Vortex, guess. as I say that, is making 10 lings with that speed, so he's going to be going across the map seeing if he can do any more damage. Well, this has been a really nice opening here out of Vortex. 
But as we see, the worker count's kind of evened up. The supply yeah. difference, not exactly significant, but Vortex does have a lot more available in the field. Let's not forget, it's not like that baneling nest went away. He's still got the capability of going back to mining gas, getting more banelings out, and continuing with the aggression. But after seeing two spine cars and three queens, I think it would just be foolhardy to do that. Well, he's gonna try. He might try and just slip into the main. The queens are very, very close to blocking the ramp, but not quite. Are they gonna... Okay, good. Uh... Mm -hmm. They are going to block it, so there's not, th not going to be do done, you know, anything right now for Vortex. But he does have those links for later use. It's odd how even this game has become. 19 mm -hmm. to 18 drones. Uh, Vortex's hatchery was a little bit later, although he's still, you know, he got the drones down there faster, I guess. Oh, uh, oh no! Okay, but no, there's, the there's a hole in the ramp, yes. <laughs> I didn't see the links either. It's like, oh, the queens are not there. Clearly, there must be nothing on the ramp, but... I'm gonna run around here. Yeah, so like Zombie Grub said, guys, I don't want to overhype this and I don't want to put you in the wrong perspective state of mind, but Quantix uh, Gamja is actually still in this game very viably. He might have spent a little over my, a little too much on defense, but again, so much of this game is stinted for Vortex due to his opening. His income was slower initially, his hatchery was delayed, he had to get the damage done first. I mean, the only thing he has a huge advantage of right now is that bailing nest, but he can't utilize it to his fullest potential due to the fact that Gam just now getting a wall off. He's got a spine crawler advancing forward. He's got so many queens available to him. Mm. He would have had it decided like uh, a minute ago to go ahead and do an all in, not like the middle of the road that he has been doing. Oh, oh that wall is not a wall. No, oh, and he leaves the ramp. Don't block. Oh, he was on the okay. ramp and then left. <laughs> Yeah, gonna exactly, try and get yeah. the queen. Oh, I love that she was retreating to the mineral line. We're gonna try and retreat behind the, his own links now. More damage gonna get killed to the worker line. Can he get enough? 14 workers killed so far this game. Only gets about one as he snipes on through. <laughs> Brings him almost back to even though. Uh, Gamja just makes six more drones to make up for it. Mm -hmm. He will have the better tech in the Roach Warren. Oh, uh, well, Vortex is just going straight up to lair and no Roach Warren on the field. Well, gonna keep getting a drone here or there. I mean, he just can't quite keep up with these links. I mean, it's speedling versus speedling, and quite frankly, this doesn't make sense to me, but <laughs> Vortex is somehow dodging around and picking off workers still. Finally gets cleaned up within his own base, but looks like both players... Are actually, I was going to say both players go for roaches, but I think Vortex... Oh, oh actually, with double evolution shimmer, maybe he is. No, I think he's... Is he going to go mutilist? I mean, he's got all those extra gases, but he's not mining off of number four, so probably not. It's not very common on Whirlwind. Uh, and by the way, Gompton never got speed, so... It was just lings versus speedlings, and that's why he was able to run oh. on the map like that. Uh, oh. So, yeah, that makes a lot more sense, doesn't yes. it? But <laughs> Vortex does go for the Roach Warren as well as that much faster third. He has an Overlord over at least one of Gomja's thirds. The other one is not being spotted, but uh, either way, we know that Gomja's third is going to be a lot later. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate, too, because you can't creep block Zerg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, thanks. Put a spore there. All right, well, Gamja's getting his speed out pretty darn quick here. His Roach Count's not exactly going to be super significant, but we are going to see the Roach War slug it out. And it's a really weird thing to consider that this is where we're heading towards. That that very classical mid-game after a very aggressive opening, after a very dire hold, so to speak. But there's that third base coming down. Lings, of course, we're running around. Going to see that the army's actually here at the third, so we'll try and run into the natural. Not a full wall-off, but... Yeah, with the Roaches out, shouldn't be too much of a problem, but we saw Vortex work his magic before. Should oh, two roaches in the main. <laughs> Still managed just to get a worker kill, though. Can he get another? Looks like he will get another. But I don't think three is... Yeah, three is too many. So 17 workers killed so far. Again, the drone count's actually becoming a bit of a disparity. 50 for Vortex and 39 for Gamja. Gamja has to kind of pick, do I do I try and drone behind this? He is right now. Mm. But this six drones coming in, I think are going to be his last round of drones for quite some time. Yeah, because he's pu pushing across the map, so I'm surprised that he even made those drones. Uh, it looks like he still wants to have, you know, a backup plan to go into the economic game. Elsewise, he would just put everything into oh. it and maybe even cancel the third. <laughs> that Overseer does. Go yeah, ahead. just barely. <laughs> uh, but what are the upgrades right now? It's going to be 1-1 one, one very, very soon for Vortex, but it's currently 1-0 for Gamja. Can he do something? Oh, he has an his his slow links. His slow links are actually going to pay dividends <laughs> here as they soak a lot of those hits. Is it going to be matters. enough? Yeah, yeah, defender's advantage is going to rain in hard here. So Gamja going to be on the retreat. With speed, will actually get away. This is one of the few situations where he can get away. Vortex's speed is almost done, though. So if he takes a fight and then tries to escape, he will, of course, lose a couple more roaches. So has to be careful, has to be safe, and has to play this smart. But 11 roaches about to pop here for Vortex. I mean, it's now 16 to 14. Home field advantage. Again, such a big deal in ZVZ and low numbers. 
Gamja behind this was journeying up pretty darn heavily, now finally back up to even with Vortex, 55 to 54, or relatively even, whatever you want to call it. Vortex has the upgrade lead, and he's going to go into 2-2. Gamja not throwing down. Oh, he did throw down a second Evo Chamber, so he knows that those upgrades are going to become uh, more and more important as the game goes on. But, you know, Vortex just, just made a lot of roaches. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be 23 to 19. Well, I guess that's not a whole lot. Gom just still making his own. But both economies actually are pretty much perfect in ZVZ. Around 55 to 60 is, you know, what a lot of Zergs have been stopping at and then just going completely into their army. Yeah, there's never a really opportune situation to go, like, past that amount of drones. It's, you you have to get dedicate so much in the army supply. Gom just got a couple spine cars still down, which actually could play huge if he gets a defensive fight. If he can... Like, I really feel his... his prerogative of this game isn't to push into Vortex, but to make Vortex come to him. To utilize combination defender's advantage, the spines he invested in early with, as well as it on roaches, but, ooh, the uh, contaminate on the hatchery, of course, slows down larval production. Kind of a cool move there out of Vortex rather than a changeling, because changelings are somewhat irrelevant in this matchup. Yeah. Does it also halt, like, the natural larva process? I believe it's all larva, pro like, anything. Yeah. So... I never but, thought about it, but... <laughs> buys him a little bit of time. That's, that's again, that's a round of roaches, potentially, right? But, all right, Vortex is going to come in, and this is what he really needs. A good defensive fight with that spine crawler. Of course, spine crawlers hit much harder than roaches. So it's a huge addition to have in part of the army. We can clean up the creep tumors. <laughs> that's something you really see often in ZVZ. But, okay, Vortex going to take some free shots here. Roach count is currently 45 to 50. And, again, the upgrades are... I don't know, you can kind of consider them even for now as it's 2-0 versus 1-1, but Vortex is coming up on 2-2, and that's going to give him a very distinct advantage. Mm -hmm. it, it is. Um, Gom is going to be at 2-1 versus 2-2, and that's huge. Vortex, he pulls back for a little while, gets the Hydras done as well, so he's going to have the better attack unless Gom just throws something down. Uh, and they're both going to be maxed out by the time the next battle happens, probably, but Mo Vortex killing the Creep Tumors is actually really smart. Not only does it just, you know, obviously mm -hmm. get a... Uh, take away the vision of Gamja. It's also like really like a mental thing where you don't suddenly see where your army is even though you know it's out there. It's really like, you know, makes you very apprehensive. But Vortex goes in here, is Ooh. not caught on the ramp, actually gets up here and But Gamja he's got the spine crawler. Will this be enough? It's 30 damage I guess. It's almost double the damage a Roach spits out. Well, actually, I guess not with two upgrades, but 2-2 two, two versus 2-1. Two, Vortex actually with a superior roach count looks to be taking this, but again that spine crawler is racking up the kills up to six so far, gonna hit seven, and with that spine crawler on the defense, Gom to compress the issue. Vortex forced to back out of this if he wants to keep any of these roaches alive, but instead just gonna scrap it out to the bitter end. Now I do want to point out too, while this was going on, uh, we've had constant contaminates here on the third base, so that's going to be really annoying for Gamja to have to deal with, because you can't exactly clear up a contaminate, but a really decisive Roach victory, and of course on the other side of the map, Vortex has no spine crawlers, Hydralists are just now coming out, but there is that Roach Hydra problem that has been ever present since Wings of Liberty, where if you don't have enough Roaches, who cares about the Hydralists? They're glass cannons, they go down very quickly. Mm -hmm. Needs to wait for his reinforcements though. It is 37 to 18 roaches with a few hydralists mixed in, but they're all coming across the map. Uh, Vortex, once again, defense advantage, very important, as well as that 2 2 over his opponents, 2 1. And Gomja, I'm not sure he wants to take this fight. In fact, no, he does not. He's no, trying to run off. away. Again, the roach count is really in the favor of Gomja for now, but is it going to be enough is the big question. If he can move into the melee range of the roaches, it just over shoot over them, go for the hydralists, maybe he'll be able to bully this out. But beautiful transfuses coming out of Vortex. I Meanwhile, it looks like uh, three, in. four Ooh. roaches hit squad going towards the third. Gets the queen even. You know, contaminating is one thing. Preventing larva injects, period, is another. But still slamping off more workers here as he just kind of dances around. Meanwhile, takes a bit of a fight on the bottom half of the ramp. But, uh, again, he just doesn't have the sheer numbers to win. No. Uh, you know, Vortex, interesting enough, also went up to, like, 62 before losing all those drones. So he was, uh, you know, actually kind of past what is normal for a ZBZ, and that made means Gamja's army was even more impressive, but still not enough to push forward. Gamja, I think he should start thinking about doing something else, you know, just an Infestation Pit, a fourth base maybe, because Roaches versus what Vortex is getting is, you know, inevitably not going to be good enough. Yeah, worth noting too, I didn't actually catch this. We do actually have a macro hatchery in the main for Gamja, so this production is going to be just out the wazoo. I don't know if this is in response to constantly getting contaminated or just something he wanted to do to get his army production up, but <laughs> he actually started out with what I do. Gamja started uh, contaminating Vortex's buildings only just recently. Kind of like, oh, that's a neat trick. I guess I'll do it too. 
Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's a spell that's definitely underused. I'm glad to see it being so used. I... It's funny that the game still looks really normal, though. Like, even, like, both people contaminating each other, it still yeah. looks like a regular CPC. <laughs> I really like the composition of Vortex right now. Not over-investing in the Hydralisks, not over-dedicating to these glass cannon high DPS units, has more than enough roaches that if he takes a fight, I really think head-on, roach for roach, slugging it out, Gamja will lose that battle, even on the defense, even with a spine crawler. But he is going to send a big hit squad here. Five, six roaches going to come into the third once again. This may do a lot of damage behind us, but here comes the big fight. Spinecrawler is going to definitely be involved. Not focused down because a full surround comes to the Hydros from behind. So I take back what I said. Completely out of position. Vortex loses so much early on. And without those Hydros, without those roaches, the defender's advantage for Gamja should be more than enough to just absolutely shut this down. He might not even need the defender's advantage. His roaches may just straight up shut this down. That spine crawler up to seven kills. These two spine crawlers that he invested in so early this game have paid so many dividends throughout the course of it. Mm -hmm. So Vortex does push him back for now, but the roaches will be coming along and Gamja will be able to push this back. Meanwhile, at the third, third base it goes down. However, the fourth has already been created, so it's just his new third, pretty much. So the economy doesn't really slow down. Um, the losing hatch always hurts, and all oh, the hydros are free. They're on okay. full retreat, and of course, roaches with speed on creep. Hydros just don't stand a chance, so Vortex is going to stand his ground and try to fight, but going to take those losses either way. Now, luckily for Vortex, again, pressing that small little edge he had, already taking a fourth. Losing that third kind of suck, but he just transferred all the drones over. However, trying to snipe his opponent's third. Gamja, though, too well defended. Again, that spine crawler, so nice to have. The queen did go down, so that's kind of revenge for all the queens that went down at uh, Vortex's own third. A few units get into the main slash natural ramp. I guess those are roaches. Yeah, they're roaches. They're being cleaned up, though. Not too much done, and Gamja is going to go on the attack. Uh, he got really lucky with that full surround. Uh, mm -hmm. Vortex kind of messing up there. I'm not sure it can happen again. Yeah, that positioning, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. you got to have positioning if you really want to take a decisive fight. But a roach versus roach slugging out. Both players on 2-2, two -two, so it, it just, again... I think positioning is going to be the biggest, keyest factor in this. Transfuses will be nice, but of course Gamja does have the numbers at the moment. 37 to 37, so tying it up now with Roach count is Vortex. Man, this is <laughs> this is not the 24-minute the game I expected following a 10-pool baneling all in. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I forgot the, the game started off like that. One Roach goes to Vortex's fourth and says, okay, you do have another base. That kind of sucks, but uh, maybe I can start pressuring that. No, he's going to go through the main and, and once again throw that hit squad down to the third. The main's not going to work, though. Like, he's not going to be able to push that past this huge clump of Roaches. And he's going to try, but it's, I don't think it's going to work. No, the queens are actually just enough to only not only soak hits, but actually do just enough damage to push him back. And yeah, with the forces split they where they are, Vortex... Uh, he holds quite nicely in that main engagement. We're going to push uh, Gamja out of the third base as well. Meanwhile, we got pathogen lands on the way for Gamja, so Infestors will be coming out. Fungal Growth is always nice. It's kind of this blanket AoE effect. Doesn't do the most damage, but sometimes it's just what you need. And, of course, in a worst case scenario, you can always throw down, like, 50 Infested Terrans. Never a bad thing, of course. Well, unfortunately, Vortex, to, you know, he took that fight as a really good thing. He's going to counterattack. I think Gamja just should have, you know, not taken the fight, stayed back, been a, you know, a little more fearful with that army. Now the counterattack's going to be so powerful, hitting right before Fungals or uh, Injustice are going to be out, that Vortex might be able to win here. Uh, it's going to be really, really close, especially with that spawn Caller still doing so yeah, much work. Being and the drone's being pulled. But this might be just what he needs, his roaches now coming in to defend. I don't know though, there's eight more roaches on the way, that base hasn't been sniped off, but losing a lot of workers here is Gamja. Vortex somehow, I don't know how he's pressing the issue, but he absolutely is, these roaches are going to get cleaned up. I don't, oh, GG is called, whoa. <laughs> it was uh, one mistake, man. It was, and that was so back and forth too, like, everything on the game was balanced on a nice edge for the longest time, but currently up to 3-0 is Mouse Sports. And guys, I saw I saw chat. I know I said speed when I shouldn't have. I'm not going to lie, though. There are times where, like, Protoss doesn't go for warp tech. You assume they do 100% of the game. Same with Metabolic Boost. So my apologies. I recognize I call that poorly. But we're going to take this time to throw out some ads. So don't go anywhere. We'll let you know in chat who's going to be coming up next.